This is the Marvin Windows Capstone Project, an intuitive asset management program for querying, editing, and creating entries that store the machines and devices used in the manufacturing facilities of Marvin Windows. This MVC app drives a database that maintains up-to-date information about the manufacturers, tooling, and configuration of machines and the devices that comprise them on the manufacturing lines at Marvin. This application uses a React framework housing semantic UI libraries as its front end, Microsoft's ASP.NET c -sharp framework for its back end, and Microsoft SQL Server for its database. Marvin Asset Inventory was created with the intention of being able to gather information about a given machine or device in a way that's intuitive to anyone, even those who aren't used to using industrial software. This program also gives engineers, technicians, and plant supervisors the ability to modify existing machines and devices, as well as to create new entries as new machines come in. Let's take a look at the workflow that an engineer or technician might go through to find information about a machine that they're servicing, upgrading, or even replicating. This is the machines page. It houses the most central information about each machine, giving users a quick overview of the most pertinent information about each machine. We currently have Northern Valley selected as our vendor. Marvin organizes machines by vendor, and the machine we want right now is made by a company called Erdman. We select them from the list. The machine we're looking for is called a Platen Press. Here it is. We can see the machine's description, install date, which is a null field in the testing database we were provided, and some other information that's internal to Marvin. The current database architecture doesn't support it, but future versions of this software will also include a photograph and some location data over here on the right. Edit functionality for machines and devices wasn't complete at the time this video had to be recorded, but this edit button leads to a modal that will allow users to edit each device as they go. Let's take a look at the devices page. Think of devices in our app as the components of each machine. Some will have PLCs, servos, HMIs, network cards, or a variety of pieces making them up. Let's take a look at some analog I.O. devices. Selecting the appropriate item from the dropdown populates the screen with tiles for each of the devices, listing important information like current firmware, serial number, and model number. Here's the analog input from the Platinum Press from earlier, an Allen Bradley 1756-IF8. Having this information at the click of a button makes troubleshooting and ordering replacement parts a much easier task for engineers and technicians alike. Let's turn it over now to Monica, who will walk us through Asset Inventory's configuration component. On our third tab is all of the general configuration information for the user. Um, so this is split up into two, second, two sections, general configuration and devices configuration. Under general configuration, the user can view information on departments, work cells, facility networks, and vendors. For each of this area, the user can expand it to view a drop-down list. So here we see all of the information on departments in Marvin Windows. And for each of these areas, the user is able to create or edit information. So if we click New Department, a separate module will pop up where the user can enter in the information. So we'll do um, Final Demo Description uh, Demo um, Presentation. When we hit Create, it will save this information in the database, and that should appear at the bottom of our screen. There we have final demo and demo presentation. The user is able to do this for each section. Now under devices config, the user is able to view more information, more particular, more specific to the devices. So this includes device type, device model, device manufacturer. Similar to general configuration, each area when the user expands, they'll see a drop down list of all of the information stored in the database. You can see these are all the different device types. And the user is able to edit or create um, device types. So we'll create one. We'll do final demo type with a description of test or final demo. We'll create this, and this will appear at the bottom of the list. And there we have final demo type. So these changes were created and synced up with the database. And whenever the user goes back, this information will be displayed. 